Hello everyone and welcome to Bug Out with Bree. Bree here to talk to you about grasshoppers and crickets. People often get grasshoppers and crickets mixed up because they're both impressive jumpers, but they're really not that much alike. As you spend time outdoors this summer, here are a few helpful tips to tell these two insects apart. But let's first talk about some of their similarities. Grasshoppers and crickets both belong to the order Othropotera, with more than 20,000 different species distributed worldwide. Not only are grasshoppers and crickets in this order, but also other insects like katydids and locusts. This order consists of insects with four wings and hind legs that are developed for jumping. Most of these insects have a cylindrical body and fan-shaped back wings that are protected by long, thick front wings. Many of these species in this order are able to make sounds, like the familiar cricket or grasshopper noise. They also have powerful mouth parts that are adapted for biting and chewing on plants and other insects. Both grasshoppers and crickets can be found in forests, meadows, and grasslands. Grasshoppers are herbivores, meaning they feed on only plants and are found in prairies and grasslands. Crickets are scavenging omnivores, they eat plants as well as smaller insects and larvae. Grasshoppers are larger than crickets, reaching up to four inches in length, while crickets are much smaller, reaching two inches in length. Grasshoppers are usually bright green colored, which help them blend into their surroundings, and most grasshoppers can both fly and jump. Grasshoppers can jump about 25 centimeters high and around one meter long. If humans could jump as far as grasshoppers do, relative to their size, then we could leap more than the length of a football field. Crickets are nocturnal, which means they are active at dusk and during the night. That's one of the reasons why you can hear them chirping at night. They are usually colored brown or pale green. Crickets have much longer antennae than grasshoppers, and some of them are wingless and move by jumping or crawling instead of flying. Both the grasshopper and cricket can jump as far as it does because its hind legs acts like miniature catapults. They bend the legs at the knee. Mechanisms within the knee works like a spring, storing up energy. When the insect is ready to jump, it relaxes the leg muscles, allowing the spring to release, flinging it into the air. One of the most well-known characteristics of both crickets and grasshoppers is their ability to make and detect sounds. Grasshoppers make a chirping sound by running their hind legs against their wings. They detect sound by listening through organs located in the abdomen. On the other hand, crickets make sound by rubbing their wings together and detect sound through organs in their front legs. The chirping sound of these insects is called stridulation, the singing ability. It is an important part of the courting and mating process. Only male crickets chirp, but both male and female grasshoppers have the ability to chirp. So it's mostly the males that do so. Grasshoppers and crickets play an important role in pollination. We tend to think of these insects as agricultural pests, but their tropical relatives provide a valuable service to plants by serving as pollinators. While you're out enjoying the warm summer days and evenings, take a moment to listen to the chirping sounds and try to determine if it's a cricket or grasshopper. Remember, if it's at night, it's most likely a cricket, and if it's during the day, it's probably a grasshopper. See you next time for the next Bug Out with Brie.